Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss some of my favorite new features here in the brand new Adobe Photoshop for the iPad. I'm going to discuss my favorite features for creating a selection and then adjusting that selection, as well as my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Let's get started in this project where I'm going to make a selection of this manhole, and I'm going to show some of my keyboard shortcuts in the process. First, I'm going to tap and hold here from the toolbar to reveal all of my selection tools, as you see here, and then I can select the marquee tool right there. Then tapping on my screen and dragging, you can see I can make a marquee selection. But as you can see, it's always quite difficult to get the selection to match an exact ellipse or circle in this case, where I want to select the manhole exactly. But here it is, one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that's only available for the iPad if you have a keyboard. And that's the letter F on your keyboard, right there. Now you can see here, after I've selected the F key once, I have a preview. If I tap again on the F key, I can cycle through the different preview modes. The mode I'm looking for is this mode right here. Now I can clearly see the shape of my selection against my background image. Now what I want to do is transform this selection. Here, from my Selection Tools action bar at the base, I'm going to select here for More. Then I'm going to select to transform my selection. Because this is a selection, it's just being previewed in this mode. Check this out. By tapping any of the control points here, I can then adjust the shape of my selection. So a great way to get something to be exactly the way you want it. Select it first, then you can transform the selection. I'm going to select Done. Check this out. If you hold down the Shift key and the letter F once again, it will then cycle through all of the different preview modes in reverse ending back up here with the marquee. Excellent. Now that I have my selection, let's use another keyboard shortcut of Command-C to copy the selection, then Command-V to paste it. As you can see here, in my detailed view of my layers to the right, I now have layer number one. You can also access all of these tools here from the taskbar. I'm going to tap on the three dots here at the base of the taskbar to reveal all of my layer actions. I've simply used a keyboard shortcut to quickly get to the copy layer, as you see here, and then the paste. Now that I have a second layer, let's do a transformation of this layer. I want to rotate the layer. I can refer to my keyboard shortcuts again and select the letter N, and I can then transform this. I could also transform this by going over here to my toolbar and selecting the transformation tool and do the same exact thing as I did with my letter N for my keyboard shortcut. I'm going to select Done. Let's finish this all off with some classic keyboard shortcuts. From my keyboard, I can select the Command Z and go back one step. In fact, I can continue and go all the way back to my original image you see here. And of course, if you don't have a keyboard, you can go up to these icons here at the top of the menu bar to undo or redo, right here. Then finally, right over here under the question mark in the far right corner, if I tap on the question mark, I can reveal all of my keyboard shortcuts right here under View Keyboard Shortcuts. Check them all out here and use them for all of your Photoshop projects. There you have it, some great tips and techniques here in the new Adobe Photoshop for iPad. Give it a try. 